It was really disappointing when I'd go through hard times in the church and things like this, and I'd really, really need someone to be there because I felt like hopeless and and lost and things like this. And they're like, oh, just come to church on Sunday, or you'd ring them and they, you know, other Christians were busy. And the Muslim community is completely different. They're there for each other when, when you need them. A brother or a sister is there for you. So how could I have been anti-Islam in the first place? Before I um, I reverted back to into Islam, I sit here and I think to myself, how could I have been anti-Islam in the first place? You know, I I was one of those people that was misguided when I was um, back when I was a uh, a kuffar, and I was misguided. I ate up a lot of the mainstream media propaganda. I ate up like watching a lot of. Um, you know, Zionists produced Hollywood movies that predicted Muslims as terrorists. They want to bomb things. They want to blow things up. That's all they do. They just chop off heads. They do this. They do that. So I look back at my past when I was in the anti-Islam movement four or five years ago and went, you know, I'm going to end up becoming a Muslim myself. So I believe in my honest opinion that Allah put me through those trials through the anti-Islam movement and through this because I think he knew that even if I had hatred back then for Islam that I was one of those people and he knew I was one of those people that if I dislike something or I like something I will study into it as much as possible to learn as much about it as possible and that's what I ended up doing I thought okay I'm gonna go talk to some Muslims I'm gonna I'm going to study right into their uh, books, you know, the Quran, the Surah, Hadith. And then, you know, I started reading their texts. And I read one particular passage, I remember, where it said, to kill another human being is like killing the whole of mankind and killing yourself. And I'm like, hold on a minute. Like, they're saying that, you know, killing is wrong and all this sort of stuff. And then it talked about how the only time that a, a Muslim should kill or hurt another human being is when he's protecting his his deen, uh, his ummah from attack or possible death or defending his family or his people from invasion. That is the only time it is permitted, you know, to do that to a person. And so I'm reading these texts and I'm like, hold on, why aren't they... Why aren't they following these texts? I'm watching these these Hollywood movies, and I'm speaking to Muslims. I met many great Muslims like uh, uh, Yusra Yatim uh, and other Muslims like that, and talking to those people, lovely people. You can contact them anytime, anything you need. They're there for you to talk to you. And I've talked to some, even some of the Christians that um, moved over to Islam. They said it was really disappointing when I'd go through hard times in the church and I'd really really need someone to be there because I felt like hopeless and and lost and they're like oh just come to church on Sunday or you'd ring them and they you know other Christians were busy and they say the Muslim community is completely different they're there for each other when when you need them a brother or a sister is there for you so if if you're in a state of absolute despair or or something happens and you need your brothers there for backup, you know, if someone's threatening to hurt you because you're a Muslim, you know, they're only a phone call away. You get on your phone and that they'll all come down there to protect you and make sure no harm comes to you. And I think that's the difference in this community is that they, they just have this such a tight, strong bond of a brotherhood and sisterhood. The sisters are there for each other. The brothers are there for each other. The sisters are there for the brothers. The brothers are there to protect the sisters. And it's just, you know, 
absolutely amazing this community this is this is islam this is the brotherhood of islam thank you so very much alhamdulillah our muslims